So how do you get ready for Army basic training? Excellent question. The Army National Guard's already setting you up for success by having you attend your recruit sustainment program drill weekends. There we're gonna you know, introduce you to the Army Combat Fitness Test, um, you know, conducting various exercises and getting you ready mentally and physically for Army basic training. But on your own time, I highly suggest that you work on running because running is one of those weaknesses that the majority of soldiers at Army basic training struggle with because out of your 10 weeks of Army basic training, if you don't include the weekends, it's about 35 days worth of PRT or physical readiness training that the drill sergeants have that's considered organized physical training. So working on your running prior to leaving is definitely going to help you for success. I would suggest that you designate and your primary focus would be running three days per week with a day of in between as rest. One day is a fun run, three to four miles. Another day you're gonna run two miles in the shortest time possible. And on the third day, I suggest that you do wind sprints or in the army, we call it 30-60s. So for 30 seconds, you're running at 80 to 100% max effort with a 60 second rest. Continue to walk as an active rest and execute that three to six repetitions. In addition to that, get yourself a um, at least a calisthenic or body weight program that you can incorporate on your off days from running. So that's like a five to six day workout program that you could do. Keep it simple. You could literally just do push up, sit up, squats, do some pull ups on a on a bar. You don't need a fancy gym membership um, because that. In Army basic training, the old APFT or Army Physical Fitness Test is dead. We buried it. It's in the back. So the Army Combat Fitness Test moved from a, a three-event Army Physical Fitness Test to the all-new six-event with the Army Combat Fitness Test consisting of a deadlift, a uh, standing power throw, a hand release push-up, the spring drag carry, the leg tuck, which gets a lot of people, and the two-mile run. So it's very, very physically demanding. Um, so you definitely want to prepare as much as you possibly can physically prior to leaving.